Hey y'all, this is Brett and today I have an air purifiers review and how to make your own air purifier for like really cheap. First of all, this is the Blue Air air purifier that I recently purchased. It's a really high-end, good quality one. It was the best rated on Amazon. Hardly anybody had anything bad to say about it. It's got a really nice metal shell on the outside of it. It's kind of like industrial grade, you know. I wanted to clean the air in my room because my little girl, she's uh, had kind of a clogged nose and um, I think a little bit of difficulty breathing and it scares me, you know, and I wanted to clean the air in here and also for myself, you know, your lungs, how important is that? And so I bought it and what I've learned is that just like a previous one that I purchased, it has to be on high to do a really good job. It has to be moving a lot of air so that the air that's like clear back there or over here will get over to it and then get filtered. And um, so when you turn it on high, it sounds like this. And yeah, it's a little bit noisy, but that's basically just how it's going to have to be because there's a fan in there and the fan on high has a little bit of noise to it. And so what I'm going to do is I don't think that it has to be on all the time. I'm going to put a timer on it and run it as so often as I want to. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own air filter unit. Get yourself a box fan like this for 15 or 20 dollars. They're 20 inches by 20 inches. And then get yourself a really high, this is important here, a really high, as high as you can get quality, filter to put on the outside of it. And this filter is a furnace filter. And it's made by this company right here and you can buy it at Lowe's for $30. That's the most expensive and the highest quiet quality filter that you can get. But for the money I paid for that, you can buy about 20 of them and put them all over your house. <laughs> I know. I feel somewhat stupid now. This thing is going to do a really good job. Perhaps certainly not as good as that does. But considering, all considering, that I could buy a bunch of these for what I paid for that, I'm telling you, this is definitely a far better deal. And you can actually ground this because it has a metal shell. So I'm prob I've already got two other box fans, and I'm probably going to go back soon and buy a couple more of these filters and just tape them right onto it. That's what you do. You just get yourself some scotch tape and put some tape, long pieces about like that, around them. It's holding it very tight. It's not going anywhere. And then when I want to replace it, you just rip it right off of there. No problem. Now check it out. I haven't taped it all the way around yet. But you can see that it sucked it in. <laughs> and it's not any louder than that one on high and it's moving it's moving a lot of air it's moving a lot of air and this thing is the very best filter and by the way if your house has a furnace filter that's blowing air through it this is very important and I've done this for my mom's at her house you need to buy the best furnace filter because it's blowing dust around your house and you need the best filter that you can get so that you're not breathing that. Why? Because it's your lungs. They're very important. Some people will buy those little 88 cent filters <laughs> and that basically will just catch hairs that are blowing through there. Those little like fiberglass filters. That's only going to catch big stuff. You want the, st the, the filter that's going to catch the tiniest particles. And that's, like this one is the highest rated, RPF 5600. 
Now, bear in mind, I learned about this little trick on some other videos on YouTube, but they didn't talk about this stuff in their videos. They just went and they bought a, a half decent filter, etc. So that's why I'm improving upon them. <laughs> and so this thing, it reduces, it, it, it pollen, mold, lint, dust mites, and then it has an, a pure static some kind of a thing. It's electrically charged in some regard that removes that, 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 and that, and that. How well it does those, I don't know, but it probably, the, the filtration part of it, works really well. And so, there you go. And I recommend that you put them, maybe depending on how big your house is, I'll probably have to buy maybe one more and have like four of them running in sequence with a timer and that will keep the house air clean all the time and probably not cost all that much. You're supposed to replace these every three to six months. Well, you can just look in there and you can see how much dust and hairs etc etc is collecting in there and as soon as it looks like it's ready then you know it's possible that you can vacuum it out a little bit but probably not likely you probably just need to replace it please subscribe please give me a thumbs up have an awesome day